The June 2023 accident at the Londiani Junction that claimed 52 lives and left more than 30 people nursing injuries lifted the lid on the danger of traders operating along road reserves in the country. The tragedy sparked conversations on the need to relocate roadside traders on Kenyan roads to alternative markets. But as Marianne Nyambura reports, the pledges made after the tragedy have remained just that, as it is business as usual with traders exposed in the event of another tragedy. People. An aerial view of the Londiani Junction in Kericho County that developed due to its accessibility to road users traveling to and from the Nakuru Kericho Kisumu route shows the hustle and bustle at the junction. An estimated 1,000 people conduct their business by the road reserve. They all scramble for customers whenever road users pull over. The June 30th, 2023 accident that claimed 52 lives when the driver of a truck ferrying cement lost control when the brakes of the vehicle failed and rammed roadside traders and matatu operators <laughs> and covered the risk of roadside trading. We returned to Londiani Junction one year, two months since the tragedy. <laughs> and it's business as usual, despite pledges by the government, that the roadside traders will be relocated to an alternative market. <laughs> Miriam Muya and Gladys Mudoni begin their hustle by removing the corn husks before roasting the maize, which they sell to their customers. Miriam was among roadside vendors who survived the June 30th tragedy. Though Miriam is not assured of her safety, she says she has no option. She's the breadwinner. A few meters from her business, we find Caroline Kemboy, who sells vegetables by the roadside. On a good day, Kemboy earns 1,500 shillings. Although she, just like Miriam, worries of her safety here, she feels the good daily earnings is worth the risk. She, however, hopes they are relocated to safer grounds. Na musingoje tu accident yote imefanyika kila mahali, munaenda munapeana promise, halafu munatoka mukiendanga. Tunaomba sana, si tukiwa wakaji wa junction, wanabiashara, mutufanyie vile mume promise, kwa sababu tuko na shida. On 1st July 2023, Politicians holding various positions in government flocked the scene of the accident, making pledges to the residents that a market stall would be constructed to house them. Soko na, bar, na biashara ya recha recha itaondolewa kutoka road reserve. Ipelekwe kando kidogo tujenge masoko yenye tunaweza kusaidia watu wetu waendele na biashara. Miniko tayari kama governor tutuwe pesa ya emergency. A show that faded as the days passed, with the pledges remaining just that. Pledges. Skewed priorities, broken promises, and broken trust. These are the feelings that roadside vendors along the Londiani Junction, who have for far too long waited for the construction of market stalls, say it has boiled down to. Will the relevant authorities act fast, or is it a pipe dream that may never be realized? Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, Londiani Junction, Kericho.